Hello, everybody. I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart once again together. And I'm also going to be taking a look at the ES, which is the stock market. And we're also going to be taking a look, quick look at Ethereum. Obviously, the merge has happened and exactly as predicted by the rumor, sell the news. As soon as the merge happened, we saw the massive sell off. This is the typical by the rumor, sell the news event, which I was definitely expecting. So a large drop on Ethereum and Bitcoin currently still heading to the downside. So I'm going to be going through my latest trades still currently in this short position, uh, currently 60 Oh no, 70 now, now $76,000 in profit. Uh, it's going up, obviously, as we continue to drop. I'll be explaining that short position, where I'm looking to take it, what's going to be happening next, and everything that you need to know here about the Bitcoin chart. So if that sounds interesting, let's pay attention to the video and let's just go straight into it together. So um, yeah, obviously, Bitcoin saw the large sell off after the rejection of this high. And from my last video, where I felt as if I explained it very well, there was still a little bit of confusion of how we knew it was going to reject where it where it did reject. And because for me, this is so important that you truly understand this. This is this is really, 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 really important that you understand if you want to be a good trader and I want to make you into a good trader. Right. So I want you to just pay attention as I just recap this with a few other levels of confluence that I'm going to throw in for you. So you can truly understand that this was a technical reaction because I, I love the debates. Yeah, I love the debates and people debating me. It was CPI, CPI, CPI. There was no way technical analysis, could technical analysis could tell that that was the high. And I'm going to just show you one more time that it was definitely, in my opinion, like technical analysis. And the timing was as you hit resistance. There was a technical reason of to have taken the short positions, right? So let's just go through this very briefly, recapping this high once more. And then, of course, I'm going to go on to what's happening now and what I'm looking for next within this local range. OK, so I just want to remind you where we rejected from. OK, it was off of the $69,000 trend line high. OK, so from the overall all time high connecting the next high, we had this trend line, which was like a bump and run pattern. So we ran into that. And my thought process was the fake out. Yeah, my, I was very much aware that we can see the fake out. E.g. we break the trend line. People start getting really bullish. And once again, I showed you some of the large accounts that were definitely very bullish as soon as that trend line broke. There were some comments of, hey, we only broke the trend line by like 1%. Is that really even a fake out? And of course it is. I mean, you just need to go and check all the, the largest period, the largest accounts. And they were all, oh my God, we've broke the trend line. Oh my God, this is really bullish. 100 trend line, they broken. Like all the big accounts were very, very, very bullish. They were all screaming buy. So of course, even though it's only a 1% fake out, it still brought in a lot of liquidity. Yeah. So the fake out was reason was a large reason for me. Then, well, we're going to start to add on more levels of confluence. So when we look at the Bitcoin chart together, we all know what's my favorite Fibonacci level. It's the CC. We take the Fibonacci from the overall high of that last move, large move to the downside, to the low. And what happened here? We went into the CC. So we're starting to now see two levels of confluence, aren't we? We have the trend line. We have the CC. And what's one of the largest reasons? Well, you look at the order flow. Up there at the highs, we were seeing extreme longs opening up. We were seeing the bearish divergences, okay, coming together. So let me just show you this on the order flow. So this is like then our third reason. Oh, wow, we're seeing loads of longs open here. So I want to go up here and just show you this a second. As we were coming up to the high, okay, during this whole period of sidewaysness, sidewaysness, if this is a word, during this whole period of sideways price action, all you can see is millions and millions and millions and millions of longs opening, right? You see this all millions of longs opening, all the whole region of period sideways up at the highs. And you finally take that high and then you get the large selling imbalances coming into that. Okay, real large selling imbalances, large aggressive short positions as what was the confluence that we had on this? So there's one, two, three reasons. Now the fourth, and in my opinion, maybe the largest reason of the sell-off was this was the ES. So what happened on the ES? Once again, Fibonacci, I will just draw this out for you so you can see it. Fibonacci from the overall high there down to the overall low here. Okay, and you see this, ladies and gentlemen, you come right up into the top of that CC. So you've had Bitcoin at CC resistance. Okay, <laughs> you then have ES at CC resistance. Okay, so two major assets that we're trading here, both hitting resistance simultaneously. And what was the perfect level of confluence that we had on the ES? It was our triangle. And this was the triangle that we identified live in the time, right? We identified this live in the time. And how do we get then the target once we saw the breakout to the upside? Once again, I identified this triangle here. We had another move to the downside breakout. What we're going to do, we're going to add the target. 
Really simply, we take the length of that triangle. I know I'm repeating myself because I've done this in my last video, but I just want to show you here what we call confluence up to the breakout level. And then we had a wick onto the exact target of the triangle into the top of the CC. Ladies and gentlemen, I know people are going to be like, it was the CPI, it was the CPI, it was the CPI data. Oh, Daniel, the minute the CPI data came out, we dropped. I'm telling you, it, that for me is totally irrelevant. That for me is totally irrelevant because you know what happens if you're trading CPI. It's a gamble, right? You don't know what's going to happen, whether it's going to pump or drop. Okay, it's kind of like a gamble almost. When we're using technical analysis, I knew using technical analysis, this was my level of resistance, which is shortable. We're hitting massive CC resistance. We're hitting the triangle target. We're seeing a lot of longs open into the high. We're seeing simultaneously Bitcoin hitting CC resistance. We're seeing lots of longs once again open into the high. Once you lose that low, it's just, this is really, really, really technical. This was a truly technical trade. And I think I've shown you, I mean, I've to prove to you here that this was based off a of technical analysis. It's the only way I myself have been able to take those shorts. I do only trade the technicals. I'm not interested in anything else other than the technical analysis. And using technical analysis, I was able to identify as that, that as the high. Not using CPI data, not using anything else, because that's for me is totally irrelevant. And I know I'm going to have people saying, hey, blah, 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 blah. you know, they're going to have their opinions, but at the end of the day, I'm making money by using technical analysis. Two days trading, $77,000 profit, you know, using technical analysis. Okay, I'd like to see the people's results trading off the CPI data. Maybe they're trading better than me. It's fair enough. But for me, I'm showing you, I'm using technical analysis, I'm taking my trades and I'm making money. And that's what we're here for at the end of the day, right? So, you know, I just wanted to briefly talk people through that. And now we're going to go on to what's happening here in the time on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, we actually had this range form yesterday, which I was very early to recognize. Okay. So why was this range starting to form? We formed this original low here, okay, at half 10 UK time. And upon hitting that low, we front run my key level of 19,700. Remember I had the key level 19,700? We front run the level. So my very <laughs> well thought through process was that we're not going to front run this level. There's too much weakness. We are not going to be bouncing here. We are going to be heading lower. I made this very clear to my team. I really felt that we're going to be going down to 19,700. We're not going to be front running this level. OK, I'm still looking for lower on Bitcoin. The only way this is going to change is if we reclaim 21K. Unless that happens, the probabilities are higher for, for lower on the chart. And I made it very clear. I'm looking for lower. 19,700 is the level. We're not going to front run it. Let's just remain patient. OK, we're in the local range and this is the local range I was referring to. OK, you can just see how we were like locally range bound within here for a long time. And you know, you can kind of see this. And what happens? We come down to 19,700. If I just add on here 19,700, where we basically are now, we wick onto 19,700. Okay. Just show you how technical this is because oh, it's just amazing. We wick onto 19,700, back test the value area low. We back test then 19,700 perfectly. This is your long opportunity at the time. If you wanted that like low risk, long, long on the back test, stop loss below the low. Okay. And what happens? We come back, back we back test the value area low once more. And we get back into this level. We get back into this. So at this moment in time, if you're trading like myself, you would have had the short from up at 22,000 region, up from around here. And you would have had a long from 19,700. And this is what I had yesterday on that on that trade. And then as we moved up to the point of control of that range, I said to my team, a nice take profit one at this zone, move the stop loss to entry. OK, then what happens? We started to move up to that value area high. And this was the level I was looking at for a short yesterday. OK, and as you can see here, absolute perfection of the level we're already and waiting for of 19,700, taking that to the value area high. That is then take profit one and take profit two hit on that trade. OK, so then I had the long from 19,700 with take profit one of the point of control, take profit two of the value area high. And then the original short that I was in from $22,000, I then compounded that short after the rejection of the value area high on the, the chart champions trading challenge account. As you know, this is the challenge account that I'm using to trade and show people what I'm doing. And this is that trade. So I had the original short from 22,000, compounded that yesterday after the value area high, gives me the average entry of 21,300. And that's why maybe at the end of this video, we'll see this hit $80,000 profit in, in just over one day. But that's how the thought process, I wanted to explain that really in detail, how I come about the local range, why I compounded, where I compounded, the respect that this channel had, why I didn't take profit here. 
I did not take profit on that short. I haven't actually taken any profit on that short. The only reason why this is realized profit is because of the funding rate. Yeah, the funding rate is paying me and that's that's realizing profit. I've not taken any profit on that short position yet. Okay. Um, and naturally right now what I'm doing is I'm looking at the stock market. I'm going to see how the stock market reacts. Um, and if we start to see some strength off of this daily, which at the moment we have not got, then I might start to think to myself, okay, I'll lock in some profits here. So EG, what I'm looking at right now is I'm keeping a close eye on the stock market, which is ES1 exclamation mark. For me, this is absolutely crucial and critical to what happens on Bitcoin. I mean, it just truly is. There's no, it's just so important that you understand the stock market right now. It's just influencing everything to do with Bitcoin. So while the stock market is not with reclaiming its local range, like we can do the same thought process here. We can have on this local range. Okay. And unless we start to reclaim the value area low, I'm not going to lock in profits on my Bitcoin short, because if we start to reclaim the value area low on ES, then we will simultaneously start to reclaim the value area low on Bitcoin. I'm absolutely sure of that. Okay. So I am personally remaining patient. I'm not saying we're not going to reclaim this. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all, but I'm saying I'm in a nice position now where I've got into an original short, I've compounded that short, and I'm now remaining patient. I'll remain patient simply for lower on the Bitcoin chart, Okay, I'll either simply remain patient for lower or I will wait for now a reclaim of the value area low, where once we reclaim this value area low, I'll make an informed decision. Will we see something like this, a retest and a pullback, or will we see something like this, e.g. just move up into that value area low? For me, this is key. You can see it's a massive support, resistance, resistance, support, 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 support level. It's a big SR, it's a big SR level. It's a big volume level. It's a very key level for me, not only on Bitcoin, but also on the stock market. I'm going to remain, remain patient in that short position until we see a sign of strength. This is a very good way of approaching the market. I'm not saying what's happening next. I'm saying let's wait and see what happens. Let the market show its hand to us. I'll wait for that sign of strength and a reclaim. If I get that, then I can take a long position. Or alternatively, we get the rejection and I'll just simply remain in that short. What I'd more likely do is take profit on the short than, than long at that point because my invalid, unless I get a low term time frame entry, um, then I'd probably just take profit on that short, which is absolutely fine for me. I'm more than happy to do that. And that's the way that I'm currently approaching this. Okay. I want to actually show you one other little golden nugget here before I wrap this. Oh yeah. I wanted to talk about Ethereum as well, didn't I? Well, let me just show you this real quick golden nugget here on, on the ES. Um, you know how I'm telling you literally Bitcoin is being decided by the ES. This is, this is, this is what's moving Bitcoin at the moment. This moves down, ES moves, stock market moves down, Bitcoin moves down, stock market moves up, Bitcoin moves up, like totally correlated and pegged together, right? And I wanted to show you this one prediction from Igor that he made one week in advance. And it was this, where he predicted the low. And you saw that when I made the video the other day, right? He predicted the exact low of the move and it hit his alert and he was predicting a bounce. And you see here, he predicted the bounce up into the CC before another drop. This was his prediction on the 6th of the 9th, okay? So this is during his live trading streams that he does. And this is the how it played out. We come down, we hit this alert, which was the exact dollar low. We moved up into the CC. And now obviously since here, we've dropped even more. So he had this like long into short setup. He had the long into short setup. Long here, short here, wait for the drop. What happens? Long here, short here, see the drop. Long into short. I just wanted to shout that out because that is, this guy is like a living legend when it comes to technical analysis and trading. Really, really, really amazing. Uh, do not sleep on his streams. Please do not sleep on his streams. Like, all I can say is it's very, very, very impressive. But that was just showing you how you can predict this market. You're not using CPI data. You're using technical analysis, predicting exact lows, predicting exact highs weeks in advance. Big drop to the downside followed. What happened? Big drop to the downside followed on, on the ES. So, I mean, yeah, that was that was pretty impressive, my friend. Well done. Absolutely. And um, yeah, I'll wrap up with giving my thoughts on Ethereum here briefly. So uh, Ethereum obviously had this this merge, right? And my my thought process, and I actually had a lot of some people like laughing at me about it, but my thought process on Ethereum was it's really really hyped up, right? Ethereum was really hyped. Oh my god, it's a merge, la 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 la. Again, I couldn't care less about a merge. I don't, you know, I really couldn't care less about it. But I've seen the phenomenon play out time and 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 time again, right? Where it's by the rumor. So as you're leading up to the merge, there's all this hype, there's all this excitement. Oh my god, Ethereum's going to get a merge. It's by the rumor sell the news because who cares about the merge, right? It really is totally irrelevant for the, this market moves. I think I've shown you this market moves off of technical analysis and liquidity.
liquidity, right? It's grabbing liquidity all the time. So why would the people that move this market care about a merge? The reason is they, they truly don't. All they want to do is grab liquidity. And what's the best way to do this? It's by pushing price up. It's helping price. It's helping price. It's pushing price up slowly as people get excited about the merge. The merge happens. There's real no reason and it's time to drop it buy the rumor sell the news buy the rumor sell the news always is happening all the time is it's always happening buy the rumor sell the news so ethereum has sold off really greatly real hard why because people have sold the news okay this is something we were definitely ready and waiting for buy the rumor sell the news um, so yeah, that's why Ethereum sold off. If you want to see more in in, in depth, I'm more than happy to do a free live stream for uh, for Ethereum. If you want an in depth analysis, hit that like button. Three thousand likes, I'll give you a free uh, Ethereum USD and ETH BTC analysis. I'm more than happy to do that for you. If you smash that like to three thousand, until that, I'm going to end up with saying once again, Igor absolutely legendary calls at the moment and he is actually doing the live trading so like i say here absolutely outstanding live trading on stream from the legend himself eagle you wanted live trading and analysis and we gave it to you more to come for us very soon every day we are working hard to give our customers everything they want and more so you can see here his notes consistency sky's the limit during that live trading stream where you can see his live analysis entering the trades live, everything that you've been requesting, you're seeing. And during that stream, he netted $520 profit. I mean, this is, you know, we, we, we'll be trying to be relatable. Obviously, my position sizes are not that relatable, but I think I might be changing this maybe. But anyway, that's that's irrelevant. Like he's made this relatable followable in terms of you're able to see live in the time his analysis live in the time taking these trades and he's taken it you wanted live trading you got live trading he'd done that session netted 520 dollars profit done the best calls you're ever going to see you you cannot sleep on this legend truly you cannot sleep on this legendary trader eagle himself i love you literally i do so yeah that's all i'm going to say if you want to see more from us you know where you can check out the live trading. You know where you can check out the Discord posts, e.g. the the, the read-only channels of the coaches, myself, George, Eagle, Mike, and Victor. We've got our read-only channels where you can follow along our analysis. If you want the education, then obviously you can come over to chartchampions.com and get all the educational material, follow the daily live streams, everything you've ever wanted and more. You can get educated, you can follow our analysis, and you can start to trade along with us today. So I'm just going to wrap up with that. Thank you ever so much. Hope I've made it very clear why the moves have happened, what I'm looking for next, e.g. remaining patient for the next level to the downside or a reclaim of the value area low. Whatever happens next, I'm totally, honestly, really comfortable with that. And I'm just going to wrap up here, 79K. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I truly hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button. And if you want to see more, chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much and have an absolutely brilliant week ahead. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And oh yeah, I'll end with this. No financial advice. This is just an entertainment educational video only. And of course, the trades we're showing you here are on paper accounts, demo accounts, as there's no financial advice. Thank you ever so much. Cheers and goodbye.